launching Power Lunch on the world leader in business news, CNBC. A wide variety of commodity prices continue to move to the upside. Gold certainly has been no exception. It has been soaring substantially over the last three months, uh, perhaps as investors look to infl as an inflation hedge. Uh, inflation is a concern here in the U.S. market and elsewhere. Robert McEwen, he is the chairman of Gold Corp. He joins us now from Toronto, and uh, he should know a lot about the precious metal because that's what his company does. Mr. McEwen, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, are you as bullish on the metal as some in the market seem to be at this point? Gold has found a renewed following in the last, say, six months or so. I remain bullish. I've been bullish since 01, when it was 250. I, I think we're going to see it hit 850 in the next five to six years. 850. And what's going to drive that? Well, right now we're looking at declining annual production, increasing costs, and there's a cost push in labor um, and materials. So there's less gold coming to the market, and I believe people are going to be looking at gold moving higher in all currencies. Now, is that because of inflation fears, or is it because of other factors? We hear a lot about jewelry demand from countries like India and elsewhere. Um, so what are the fundamentals that will continue to push that, that market higher? Jewelry demand certainly is a large component of the demand for gold, and that's usually at the bottom of the trough. Mm -hmm. When you're running uh, midway and up to the top of the, the trough, the top of the price cycle, you have investment demand kicking in. Mm -hmm. If investors look at gold, they see that it's been rising when everybody's been telling them it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. So and it's a contrarian play as yeah. well. The first phase was just gold moving against the dollar. Right now, since um, the summer, gold's been moving against a package of currencies, and that what I call the second phase. Mm -hmm. And once it breaches 500, $550 an ounce, you'll see a much larger participation by the public pushing it up much faster. Given the price level that you just said for us, um, the 850 mark a number of years from now, one would think that perhaps that might also be triggered by some sort of fundamental event other than what we've just outlined because that's a pretty dramatic price increase. Are you looking for any sort of watershed event that might move the metal that much higher, or do you think it will be a gradual increase based on the factors we've just outlined? It won't go in a straight line. Like all investment markets, it'll advance, consolidate, and then advance again. But what's moving it is psychology. There's a lot of debt in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole system is built on just-in-time inventory systems, and so when you get a shortage or a disruption like a natural resource or a, a major corporate failure, say, such as Refco having trouble, troubles today, it introduces a liquidity question into the market and people go to, the, the, to gold as the uh, only currency without a liability attached to it. I'm almost out of time but, you, time, but you brought up Refco now. What do you think the implications are of this particular situation? Obviously, it's still unfolding, but given the fact that there's such a huge player in the commodities markets and derivatives in particular, what are the implications of their move today? I think it could be quite dramatic, very dramatic in, in terms of introduce, introducing huge uncertainty into the commodity market and all the derivatives that have been issued on them. Do you think they'll be, do you think they'll be out of business as a whole? Do you think Repco will cease to exist? I think there'll be a big uh, effort to hold, keep them in business. But eventually, do you think that they will cease to exist or do you think they will continue? Uh, I, I haven't seen enough of it yet, Sue. So. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. McEwen. Thank you. Robert McEwen, Gold Corp's chairman, joining us today from Toronto.